Hey everybody, welcome to a special edition of Countdown to Blast Off here on AnglersChannel.com. We've got PAA President Chad Morgan Taylor. Yep, you're good. I, I, I got it. I've messed up a lot before, but I got it that time. Um, Chad, we appreciate you joining us. You're the president of the PAA this year. 2010 is a special year for the PAA. You got your tournament series kicking off tomorrow morning on Cherokee Lake. Four uh, uh, tournaments in the series this year, uh, plus the championship. Uh, a lot of excitement going on with the PAA. If you've been watching on the AnglersChannel.com blog, we've been posting all the sponsors you've been adding. There's just a lot of energy going on with the PAA right now. Uh, let's talk about that and, and, and how you can feel the energy here, and then we'll talk about the tournament tomorrow. Well, you know, John, you're exactly right. There, we've, we've got a lot of momentum going our way right now. Um, there's no denying, denying that at all. You know, we've, uh, we've been able to add some very important positions within the PAA, being Danny Blanford and Lisa Bell as our office manager, and Marsha Copen, and, and, and that all's assisted as well as our, our tournament director, Randy Knighton, and, of course, Alan Clemens with our communications. And, and it's all assisted in the momentum, and it's been a result of it. You know, the staff's doing a great job. They're hustling. They're working their hearts all, out. And, um, but at the same time, you know, we're really gathering a lot of angler support going forward. Uh, you know, we have grown our membership from over the last year to 1,250 members of the PAA, and that's pretty strong considering we were at 200. Yeah, um, you know, so it, it is. It's a. It's a. It, people are getting the concept of it while we're here, and you know, it, it allows the anglers to have a voice and to have a say. And it's their. It's their event. It's their organization. And there's a lot of great things going forward. Now, you know, we're constantly striving to make things better, and we make mistakes along the way. There's no denying that whatsoever. Um, but we've got a board that works really, really hard to try to think of every angle and aspect and make decisions. Of course, Danny Blanford, our project manager he, he has absolutely been a, a, a non-stop workhorse I can't say enough about my staff and the board that's that's supporting the PAA at this point and because of that some really neat things are happening with you know our television aspect and the angler support and sponsorship you know uh, interest so obviously you know we're here at Bass Pro Shops uh, our newest partner on a multi-year agreement and uh, with the looks of things that this is the first day we've actually as the anglers got to take part in this it's going fairly well and I'm really interested to see what's going to happen on Saturday uh, their final day weigh-in. Well and the final day weigh-in will be live on fishpa.com as well as anglerschannel.com and uh, it'll be right here at the Bass Pro Shop store outside of Knoxville in Sevierville, Tennessee. I can't pronounce that either. But anyway, uh, bottom line is you do have a lot of good partnerships going. This tournament, Cherokee Lake, the heat's been excessive. Water temps are high. We know fishing's tough. What's it going to take for uh, somebody to come out of this first event as a winner? Well, you know, as it is in as it is with just about every event, you know, you're going to have to make the right moves at the right time. And I really think it's going to be a mixed bag of tricks for this particular event. We've got the level, the lake level is on the right, it has over the last three weeks, which is very uh, unlike this lake. So it causes water on a drawdown to position the fish in tighter schools and on the spots that we want to fish deep structure, which you would normally target this time of the year. But because of the rays, it's caused a lot of fish just to scatter. Uh, it's caused a lot of fish to stay shallow. And the ones that are deep, the, the population's not as great. And they're really struggling to eat because the water temperature's hot. You know, they, there's a lot of bait fish in this lake. So you've got deep fish that are relating to structure on the bottom. You've got fish in between that are suspended. And then you've got your shallow fish that are staying put because there's a lot of new vegetation and cover that's been put in the water due to the lake being on the rise. I really think an angler that can put it all together and make the right moves, and that's what it's going to take, is uh, a, probably mixing it up a little bit, getting some really quality bites in the morning, and then having some luck out on the deep structure in the afternoon. Give me a three-day total that it's going to take to win. You know, uh, with it being this, everything, the conditions like they are, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 42 pounds for three days to win. And it could vary in between to what it takes to really do well in the event. I don't know what the 30 cut would be at this point, uh, which is what we could find. But I'm guessing that's probably going to be somewhere around the 20 to 25 pound mark would be my guess. I'll tell you what, folks. Vance McCullough, AnglersChannel.com Insider, will be here tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday interviewing all the anglers after the weigh-in. So stay tuned to AnglersChannel.com and FishPAA.com for full updates throughout the, the event. 
Chad, congratulations on a really good start to 2010 and your 2010 season. We can't wait to cover this one and, uh, and the rest of the tournaments on the slate. Good luck to you. And, uh, folks, we'll see you tomorrow with more coverage from the PAA at Cherokee Lake up here in Tennessee.